Truck Racing is a budget style of racing game that was released in late 2002, early 2003 for the PlayStation 1. And this game was also part of a series of games that were developed and published around that time. If you're familiar with the All-Star Action Series or All-Star Racing or Five Star Racing that was released on the system also, you'll be quite familiar as this game used the same type of visuals and style. All of these games, for the most part, are just rehashes of games that came before it but they just change a few little things in most cases they always use the same type of tracks all of these games are all developed under the same graphics or game engine that they used at the time and for the most part what they did was that they took segments of particular elements of the game and they just rebranded it and put it into their own separate game and you'll notice that if you have played a lot of these type of games they're very very similar they're almost identical for the most part like there is another version of this game that was also released on the system in other regions by the name of Truck Racer. It's essentially the same game but it has different menu systems. The trucks are exactly the same but it has a few different tracks so there's not really much difference in it. Now for the most part this is a budget title. It's not going to break any boundaries like when you compare it to the likes of other games with likes of Gran Turismo and other types of very popular racing games that were released on the system. This game wouldn't really compare to them as such but for a budget title they're not too bad to play. I know that back in the day these type of games didn't get the best of reviews and they were pretty much slated in magazines due to the similar features and the fact is that there was a lack of initiative in terms of what they were presenting because they were pretty much just using the same thing over and over again but in terms of the visuals and the gameplay style they're not overly bad games if anything they play really well they can be challenging depending on the level of difficulty that you're playing the game on the harder the difficulty they are going to be a lot more difficult to master but the control systems were quite well the track layouts are quite decent although you will find yourself getting quite bored and you'll find the game getting a little bit repetitive after a while because there's no different variations in terms of the trucks there's no way of upgrading the trucks to increase the power outputs or anything like that the one thing with a lot of these type of games and i have covered loads of them on the channel i'll make sure to drop a link down to a playlist below in the description so that you can check them out and for the most part these games did sell people did play them and for the most part even though they got slated in the magazine people did play them and people did enjoy them for what they were but they're ideally focused and aimed at people that just want something quick and easy to pick up and play if you're looking for something that's going to take you hours to really get into and to really take time to level up you would go for the likes of Gran Turismo or other type of racing games this is definitely not that and as there wasn't really many games on the system that allowed you to race as the likes of lorries or trucks this in itself did offer some value in terms of that that it catered to that type of area because there wouldn't have been many games around at that time that did that. Now in saying that even when you look at it compared to other games because this was released in the PlayStation's latter years there was already a massive plethora of games that had already come before it that were groundbreakers so this was never going to be part of that but had this game been released say in 1995 or in the early days of the PlayStation this would have done quite well because visually even for a budget game it would have held its own in 1995 or 1996 it would have gotten quite well in terms of reviews and the magazines the only main problem with it is for the most part if you have played it now you may disagree with me or may not is the lack of functionality in the game that there was no menu system really as such to unlock additional cars or trucks or even upgrade your trucks straight the course of play like adding extra parts or increase the power outputs so there was no real way of unlocking anything pretty much everything that you had was there from the get-go there was no tournaments that's the problem really with it is the fact is that it lacked a lot of those elements if it had a bit more structure to it and it had more of those progression style elements this game probably would have done a lot better and a lot of these games in these series here would have done quite well if they had to have had a lot more of those elements involved in them but they were left out for whatever reason now it's not to say that they're bad games like I, I'll be honest myself personally I've played worse racers on different consoles so it's, it's not a bad game overall to play it's definitely not the best in the system by any means and a lot of people I know that don't like these games but there are people out there that do enjoy them but it is what you make of it really at the end of the day it's definitely not for everybody I will admit but if you are into these type of budget games and you want to see what this series has to offer and see an additional look into more of these type of games just be mindful that they do reuse a lot of assets and models from other games in the series like the tracks and vehicles and so forth but it is interesting to see these type of games and just to see how they play now they are similar they don't
don't really play any different from the last but they're still worth the play through if you're looking for something quick and simple to play for a few minutes and if you're like myself where you like diving into the playstation's history where you like to explore different types of games to see what they're all about it would be worth a look for that just for that alone and i would love to hear your thoughts of truck racing for the playstation one if you have played it back in the day have you played this game or did you play other types of games that were also f based off the series of games like all star action or five star race and, and the like i'd love to hear whatever stories you have of these games so be sure to share them down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video and you would like to see more of these type of videos where i do explore a lot more of these quirky and obscure budget style racers that were released on the system then be sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be updated when future videos are released and do feel free to check out the playlist as i mentioned with other games that were also released from the same series of racers on the system so be sure to check them out and as always make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them and keep those gaming memories alive